Hello friends, welcome to my channel DevOps Vijay. Today we will be learning about how to create a new job in Jenkins. Uh, this will be like uh, uh, first class after the installation and setup of agent. So let's start with creating a new item or new job in Jenkins and proceed further. Okay. So this I have opened as you can see I have opened a local host 8080. This is the Jenkins controller and this is the Jenkins UI. On the left hand side, click on new item. When you click on new item, you will get a pop up with this view. Here you can give a name of your Jenkins like uh, you can give test job. Okay. So the, here you can see various options freestyle Maven project. Maven project is coming because I have installed a plugin pipeline multi configuration folder multi branch pipeline organization folder these are coming by default okay so we will select a freestyle project let's click on that click okay okay so now it has created a test job but you have to configure inside that okay so we'll go each and every options one by one okay inside this job how to set up descriptions you can mention anything test job for demo okay next option is discard old builds so what is the meaning of this when you select this it will give you the log rotation days to keep builds or maximum number of builds to keep suppose if if lot of developers are there or lot of builds are happening for this then it will keep on piling the logs for those builds you do not want to keep those many builds so you can give either 30 days of build to keep build means build logs those information and maximum number of builds okay if if you can see if not empty build records are only kept up to this number of days if not empty only up to this number of build records are kept so you can mention here i want to keep only 20 builds uh, 10 builds and only for 30 days if if suppose we have five builds and cro crossing 30 days then it will get deleted so this is the use of discard old builds next is github project here you can click and you can give the url whatever the github project you are going to link with this project so right now i, I will disable this okay next option is this project is parameterized okay when you click on this it will tell add parameter now when you click on this you will see lot of parameters options one is boolean parameter choice parameter credentials parameter file parameter multi-line string parameter password parameter run parameter string parameter i will tell you each and every parameters about this uh, but uh, the most of the most useful parameter is a string parameter suppose you want to pass uh, click on this you'll it will say what is the val key of the parameter and what is the value of the parameter okay like suppose i want to i wanted to pass to this job like uh, i wanted to build uh, uh, this job from particular branch so you can say release branch okay you can give uh, any number like 2023.01.01 like you can see this is the branch okay and this is the release branch and you can use this parameter later into the jobs okay similarly if you want to add multiple single string parameters come down and you can see add parameters again you can select string parameters you can put another parameter here if you come down in parameters you can select boolean parameter you can give the name set by default and description okay so these are there i'll go through in each and uh, every parameter in next video how to use these different parameters let's keep only one single parameter for now for creating this test build or job okay next option is throttle builds these are the default options i have not installed any plugin because of that it is coming okay these are the default options throttle builds enforce a minimum time between the build based on the desired maximum rate if you want to limit the number of builds and all you can use you can do through the the through the throttle builds execute concurrent builds suppose if you want to run only one build at a time until that build is finished then only you will trigger the next then you can uh, unselect it if you want to run concurrent builds you can click on this and it will execute the concurrent builds means multiple builds can be triggered in parallel you can see the help option when this object is in multiple builds of this executed in parallel 
so you can see this is the option let's disable this restrict where this project can be run when you select this this is the important option which we use every time labels okay what you have to do is you have to give a label I'll tell you how this label is coming okay label is dev let me open another window for Jenkins so this would restrict where this project can be run if you do not mention anything then it can it will run anywhere or it can run on master or controller node also but if you have set up a particular dev build machine where you want your project or the build to run then you can mention the node label of that project like if you go to the manage Jenkins okay if you go to the manage nodes and clouds you can see devops test is my uh, one of the um, uh, slave agent linux slave agent which i had uh, connected in a previous video i had given that as a level as dev so same dev level i have selected okay click on advanced option you will see so many quiet period you means you have to wait for some time when you trigger it you wait for some time and then uh, start uh, building it that is the quiet period retry count select this okay retry count SCM checkout retry count when this option is checked out it is configured to use a source code manager and it will try multiple times to check out from the specifier until it succeeds if it fails then it will keep on retrying you can give up how many times it has to retry okay so we are not using these options block build when upstream project is building suppose this your job is dependent on some other some other job or some other activity which is a part of another jenkins job so what you can do is you can click on this okay block when an upstream build is building when you connect this uh, to another job how to connect chaining of the job i'll tell you in the next um, uh, video but when you select this the whatever the upstream job which is triggering this job until that is finished this will not trigger block build when downstream job is building <clears throat> this is the opposite uh, reverse uh, situation okay when this option is checked the jenkins will prevent the uh, project from building when a child of this project is in the queue or building the children include the direct as well as the transitive children okay if suppose previous run is already going on in the downstream and upstream has finished and again it triggered it so until unless downstream is finished it will not trigger anything so that is the situation here so let's uncheck these things use custom workspace you suppose on the target uh, server on the uh, build agent uh, where you want to execute this job or the task uh, if you want to use by default workspace will be like uh, uh, workspace on the target will be opt jenkins and then workspace if you want do not want to use that you want to use something else like home vijay and then you want to use the uh, some workspace then you can mention that instead of building in default location it will try executing all the commands which whatever you mention in the next it will execute from this location okay this is just a display name let's uncheck this also if set the optional display name is for project throughout the jenkins web ui you can mention test job or something any this is just for this display purpose okay keep the build logs of dependencies okay this is just for keeping the build logs okay next is when you see this is the general settings these are the general settings next is source code management you can come through this this way also or you can scroll also okay by default none is there or you can select a git git is when you want to connect the github project to this job that's when we'll use the git plugin for now i'll select a none okay i'll show you how to connect the git also next is build triggers build trigger remotely uh, trigger builds remotely from scripts build from another projects are built build after other projects are built when you click this you have to give the uh, job name other job name okay suppose dependency project is there and it has to like i'll give you the scenario uh, compilation of code then sonar so sonar cannot trigger until unless compilation is done so what you can do is you can give the this suppose if this job is a sonar so you have to give the compilation project to watch so until that job is finished it should not trigger that is this option build periodically this is like cron job 
schedule you can put any cron job and you can build it like midnight uh, all the cron expressions you can find it here even over online you can find the cron expressions and put it here just like you do in linux okay next is github hook trigger for git scm polling github hook for scm polling wins when you click this uh, whenever a pr is raised into the github then only this will trigger or this is the scm polling uh, you can give when it has to poll the scm scm means source code management suppose you have you are using github as a source code management you can tell every two hours every three hours or every day once it has to poll the scm if any change is there in the scm in github then only this build will be this build or this job will get triggered otherwise nothing will happen okay so this is how the build triggers works okay next is build environment for doing a build why this is called a build environment suppose you have to set up uh, suppose if you are using gradle maven or something then you have to set up some environment variable or path you can do using this delete workspace before build starts use secrets or file add timestamp to the console output inspect build or for published scans terminate a build if it is struck you can see terminate a build if it is with ant okay now we come to the main part where we are going to do the activity as of now in these three only the setups were going on like general where do you want to trigger source code what is the code what uh, to which source code you want to connect build triggers what is the mechanism of connect next is build environment how to set up the environment before executing the actual code okay next is build step add build step here you can see multiple options are there python windows batch shell and gradle script but these are the default options i have I, I remember i had installed python script python plugin okay so let's do a shell since we are going to connect if you see i have connected to dev okay this job will go to the linux slave agent which i had done a setup it will execute there so i have to use all the shell scripting command okay so let's put one shebang okay you this particular line user bin bash you can check on the server also where the shebang is present okay uh, which command sh like my location is user bin sh for bash bin bash okay let's use the sh so this is the location i have put a wrong location so copy that and paste it here okay next is you you can use all the bash command like echo you can do who am i next is echo you can give a dollar uh, let's print out our parameter which i am going to pass that will be the easiest and the simplest okay close it so this is this is the two line of command which i have created save it come out now let's let's get to know how to trigger this job on the left hand side you see the option build with parameters okay if you see now this this build requires parameters default value is this you can give any value here let's click on build building remotely on dev test you can see i have i had not given any any custom workspace so it is going to opt jenkins workspace test job build is finished and who am i is root and what is the value you can see 23.0.01 okay let's come back again build with parameters let's give something else here vijay okay click on build if you see it's getting built and this line bar is progressing okay let's click on this now you can see root and vijay it has echoed it out now how to how to check this logs okay that is a very important part when you click on this this is also a link and this round button that is also a link okay when you click on this it will take you inside the job and inside that this is a console output and here you can see the logs another shortest way to go to that click on this round button and that will directly take you to the console output okay so this is the simple 
job which we created today and executed on a slave agent linux slave agent and we got the successful output also okay i hope you understood how to create the jenkins job this was just a simple in next video i'll show you how to connect multiple jobs it's like chaining of jobs and make it dependency to each other i uh, hope you like this video thank you